Hi guys, welcome to Desi Boy's Kitchen. Uh, if you guys remember, my first video, was well, second video actually, was a curry video, right? Which I made it on with my phone and I sent it to all my friends on the WhatsApp. And a lot of you didn't get the video. And I've been getting a lot of response and then people saying, oh, it didn't make it like you do it. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, today I'm gonna make the video again and gonna give you proper measurements to you so you don't make any mistake with curry it's all about the measurements how you measure things and what is your thickness of your liquid when you put it into the pan right i'm going to show you step by step right so what i've done is i've taken two cups of yogurt so there it goes two cups of yogurt goes in here right and i've taken half a cup half a cup of basin right so add in it and what you have to do is you have to mix it right properly so it doesn't make any knots so make sure you don't have any knots in them Now this is all gone creamy, if you look at it, you've got to mix it properly, right? Can you see this? How nicely it's creamy. There's no knots in it, right? So what we're going to do is, we're going to add our two teaspoons of salt and a two teaspoons of healthy, which is turmeric, right? That goes in here. So you mix it properly. And also I have got a one teaspoon of green chilies which I'm gonna add it in here so it gives you a really really nice flavor when it's mixed in with your liquid and now if you remember what I said I took two cups of yogurt so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add 10 cups of water into a liquid to make it thinner so you what you have to do is you have to add it very slowly so keep on adding water and keep on stirring it so it doesn't form any knots so that's my 10 cups of water added if you look at it how thin this this liquid is right so now we can just put this on the side So the pan is getting heated. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put only two tablespoons of oil, yeah? As you know, I don't like too much oil in anything. So only two tablespoons is more than enough. So what we've got here is, we've taken these mustard seeds, right? So only one teaspoon of mustard seeds because we don't wanna put too many. So otherwise it'll get overpowered, right? So that goes in here in the pan. So you gotta make sure that they cooked properly. Mustard seeds are sizzling, I can even smell them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add only three sort of whole chilies, which is dried red chilies. It's just gonna give a really nice color, it's a beautiful color it's gonna give, and it's gonna give really nice flavors. So what we're going to do is just add in there the pan and better make sure they are near a little bit like sort of cooked when they start popping one large onion so I've cut it sort of in long ways so we're going to add in there You must have noticed, right, that I have not added ginger in. The ginger, the reason why I don't add ginger first is because ginger sticks to the pan when you're making curry. So we're gonna, when the curry is half cooked, that's when we're gonna put the ginger in, right? So it doesn't like stick to the pan. So that's a little, little thing, right? It makes a difference when you're making a dish. And some of you guys are not watching the full video and that's where you make mistakes. So all I can 
request you to watch the full video when you want to make something and and we all right know how to cook right but we always like say no oh, i don't want to watch you i don't want to watch a full movie because i know how to cook we all learn from each other every day we are learning a couple of tips makes a huge difference on the whole whole dish so i will just ask you is to watch the whole video before you cook it right guys so onions are getting a little bit caramelized so i just want to make it a little bit browner before i add my liquid in oh, the onions are a bit brown so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our liquid So now you know you got one boil here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it on the back burner on a medium heat. Now the curry is like it's like two boils now, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my ginger into it. So I'm gonna keep on stirring, yeah. You're starting to see the oil on the sides. So it's been on the pan nearly hour and a half now. So what we're gonna do is not really thick now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna taste it a little bit at this stage to see if there's anything missing, the salt is okay. <clears throat> Everything's fine. I think I'm just gonna pour add another half a teaspoon of salt in it because I feel the salt is a little less. When it starts bubbling like this, so that means your curry is ready. Look at that. Guys, let's have a look. I left it to rest for 20 minutes. I want to see. Wow, look at that. Amazingly nice curry. Curry has to be thick. Look how thick it is now, yeah? I'm going to give you a really good, good tip, right? How to decorate your rice when you are like serving it. So basically what you do is Put in one of the small bars, yeah? Press it down. Like this. Put your plate on the top. And turn it around. Put this in the middle. Voila. Put your curry around it. Like this. Coriander. There you go, voila. Moment of the truth. Let's taste it. so nice you know the Punjabis love curry chol and the curry chol every time I make curry chol in the house it's like an event in the house so it's really really amazing flavor especially with curry chol you don't need any side dishes or any extra chilies or onions or you don't need nothing curry chol itself is a really good meal thank you guys for watching my videos at this white kitchen I hope you like it and please like, subscribe and share my videos and uh, let me know if you want me to give you a shout out. Today's shout out goes to 
Kavita Man and Man family from Leicester. So please DM me or text me on a WhatsApp, right? If you want me to give you a shout out. Thank you guys. Bye for now. See you soon.